Hi guys, welcome to another video of Shutter and Viages. Uh, today we are going to talk about, you know, you have already seen one M1 MacBook Pro's video. Today we are going to talk about the, you know, starting range of Macs, the Mac Mini. MacBook Pro is a little costly device. It starts at around 1.20 lakhs and, you know, it's a costly device. And the M1 Mac Mini starts at around 70,000 rupees. And, you know, monitors are cheap. You can get a monitor in like 10 or 15,000 rupees. So in total, if you are spending 80,000 rupees, what sort of device you are getting? So, you know, with M1, Apple did a lot of good things. I'm still surprised how they could come up with something and which actually performs this well. It is very surprising for me. So let's quickly see how the performance is, uh, you know, how Geekbench score is. And I'll personally render a video, you know, uh, my own workflow in which I edit videos. I usually use DaVinci Resolve because uh, Final Cut is too simple for me and Premiere gets too, you know, crashy. It crashes randomly at any time. So DaVinci Resolve is my preference. Let's quickly see how the M1 Mac Mini performs in the real world and not only on the Geekbench. So, you know, what Apple did with M1 chips is beyond my imagination. You know, I remember talking about it before launch and I was like, will they be able to pull it off and, you know, they did actually pull it off and uh, this is this is just amazing but optimization and a little smart engineering i would say can do here is the geekbench running as you can see uh, you know geekbench is not a real world test but still i feel that uh, it can give us a lot of uh, information this is the 500 12 GB variant as you can see uh, capacity is 494.38 and the formatted available capacity is 457 uh, gigs to us so let us quickly see how the Geekbench results are for this one although we all have already seen M1 Max uh, Geekbench score one thing that I specifically noticed about the M1 Max is uh, you know I was expecting the performance to be better than all three like you know as compared to the macbook uh, pro or the macbook air because you know this one has a bigger surface area to cool apple can put and i think they have put up the biggest fans and the best cooling system in the uh, yeah, m1 mac mini but still it's a little surprising for me why it doesn't work that well i mean when you compare it to the m1 macbook air my rendering frames for the Vinci Resolve was around 24 to 25 frames. On this one, it is about 20 frames per second. Let me quickly, just as Geekbench finishes, let me quickly show you my uh, normal workflow and how well this can handle a 4K workflow, which is a very big deal for a system like this. So as you can see, uh, okay, so you know, this is showing some random error, but the score is pretty much right. It's 1747 for single and 7551 for multi-core score. It's a very, very big score. I mean, this is just amazing. I It actually beats the iMac 27-inch Retina mid-2020, which is, is running an Intel Core i7-1070 700K and uh, the score is 1248 as you can clearly see so there's a lot of potential in m1 macbook pros let me quickly open my workflow and let me show you something you know of a video as a video editor or as someone who just like you know is looking at this system for their desktop because i was thinking to keep this as my desktop as my permanent desktop sadly i couldn't because this is not a system where you can you know keep it as a replacement of that system that i have which is kind of like currently running an amd 3750x and uh, the graphics card it is is 2080 ti let me quickly relink the clips because you know it happens when you okay my where is the Okay, here is the video. Okay. Let me quickly show you my editing workflow. This is a 4K clip. Okay. 
I am currently running the beta version of the studio. So this is just the beta version. This is the... Hi guys, welcome to another video of Shutter Madness. Uh, it's a 4K video and the scrubbing etc is... You know, you can see the scrubbing rate is also fine. There's no real uh, lag or anything. If I show you the inspector and let's quickly try to stabilize the clip and uh, let us quickly try to stabilize it. As you can see, the stabilizing speed is also very, very fast. So it's beyond my imagination that, you know, Mac mini, which is the starting system for Apple, you know, the system that starts at around 70,000 rupees in India. This one, although cost costs 85,000 rupees, I got it at 83,000 because of some discount, but uh, the MRP marked is 85,000. Still, this can perform a lot, lot better than a lot of laptops in the market, a lot of desktops in the market, which is just amazing with, and the silent, the system is so silent, you'll barely hear anything while it is working. Let me quickly save it to my desktop, add to render queue and render. You know, now it's rendering at 25 frames per second. It goes from 23. Okay, this is... I don't know, there must be some error or something at that time because this is now the performance that it is showing is on at par with the MacBook Air. The only difference between this and MacBook Air is going to be this will give you a sustained performance, sustained frame rate because it has a better cooling system. MacBook Air, it doesn't have a fan. So in my opinion, this is this can be your viable desktop system at your home at just 65,000 rupees. You know, a Mac at this price is just unbelievable. So... You know, I have also applied a few color grading options uh, to the clip. This is my pre-edited clip. I have already uploaded this video. But you can clearly see uh, how well the system actually performs. If you are also looking for, you know, some uh, 3D rendering or stuff, I would strongly suggest you get a 8, sorry, 16 GB variant, the 16 GB unified memory variant. But even if you don't, this still performs very decently. Okay, uh, the app installation and everything is very, very fast. Rosetta is very efficient. I mean, it's beyond my understanding how Rosetta can perform so well. And on Microsoft side, it's just so messed up. You know, the translation from x86 code to ARM code is so, so confusing. So in my opinion, if you are looking for a desktop, if you are in the market, you should definitely try this one out. And you should definitely, you know, uh, Give this a fair chance. Go to the showroom, try it once, see for yourself what it does. As you saw, the performance of the M1 Mac Mini is really, really good. There's nothing in the, you know, amateur to beginner stage that you cannot do. Even a semi-advanced user can use this device. Actually, I was thinking to travel with M1 Mac Mini. Let me know down in the comments uh, if you want to see a video of me actually traveling with a desktop computer, you know, uh, going somewhere and using and, you know, plugging it uh, to the hotel's TV and using it as my main editing machine on that shoot or on that uh, travel video that I'll be doing. So let me know down in the comments. On my final remarks about M1 Mac Mini, if you're in the market looking for a desktop or even a laptop, which you're mostly going to use at your home, I would strongly recommend the M1 Mac Mini. You can go out and check the system yourself. It's compact, it's powerful, it has everything you need. It has ports and, uh, you know, overall it's a very nice and decent device. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hope to see you in the next one. And uh, thank you so much for supporting us. We are nearing 50,000 subscribers. And another giveaway will be up very soon. It is going to be of the foldable phone that is LG G8X. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching the video.